last minute flash cards, general pediatric, immunization, positive hepatitis B mother and the baby is less than 12 hours old. What is the next step? Give hepatitis B vaccine and hepatitis B immunoglobulin. If a patient doesn't receive the MMR and varicella vaccines on the same day, what is the recommended waiting period between the administration of the MMR and varicella vaccines? At least four weeks. A four-year-old presents for his annual well child check. The child was recently discharged from the hospital and was treated with IVIG for Kawasaki disease. Should the child receive MMR and varicella vaccines during this visit? The answer is no. Delay the vaccine 11 months if IVIG was used for treatment of Kawasaki or 10 months if the IVIG was used for ITP or immune thrombocytopenic purpura. Repeat the dose of MMR or varicella if were given within two weeks before the treatment with IVIG. A four-year-old presents to the clinic for his annual well child check. The family reports that he just completed a five-day course of prednisolone for an acute asthma exacerbation. Should the child receive MMR and varicella vaccines today? The answer is yes, because the length of course of steroids is less than two weeks. On the other hand, children receiving 2 mg or more per kilo per day or 20 mg per day or more of prednisone or prednisolone uh, longer than 14 days, 14 days or longer, they should not receive live virus vaccine, for example, MMR, varicella, or rotavirus. What is the risk if combined MMR and varicella is given between one and two years of age compared to children who received MMR and varicella vaccine separately? The risk of febrile seizures is slightly increased. An eight months old boy brought in by his family for travel counseling is planning to travel to Africa in 15 days. His vaccinations are up to date. What is the next step? Give MMR and hepatitis A vaccines now. Infants 6 to 11 months should be vaccinated against hepatitis A and MMR if traveling to high risk areas. The dose doesn't count towards the routine two dose series after one year. You have to start all over again for hepatitis A and MMR. Children younger than nine years of age never been vaccinated for influenza vaccine. How many doses should they receive during the first instance of influenza vaccination? Two doses one month apart. Having trouble or trying to pass the pediatric board exam? We have the definitive solution for you. Presenting the Last Minute Review Series, a powerful tool for achieving success in pediatric board exams. Crafted by Dr. Osama Naga, a board-certified pediatrician by American Board of Pediatrics and the editor of the Pediatric Board Study Guide, a last-minute review, Dr. Naga breaks down the most critical subjects in this series. The Pediatric Last-Minute Review webpage offers a thorough and rigorous set of pediatric board review sessions that are in line with the study guide. The lectures will cover the most important topics for each condition that a pediatrician must know for pediatric board exams, as well as real-life clinical encounters. The inclusion of a clinical case scenario, accompanied by multiple choice questions, followed by the most probable answer and a comprehensive description of the issue, will ensure test readiness for each student. You will be able to download the lecture's PDF files to make your studies easier, to take notes and be accessible on the go and offline. Based on the membership plan you choose, you will have unlimited access to the lectures for either one month, three months, six months, or one year. By viewing these videos, you will increase your chances of passing the board exam and gain substantial advantages from the acquired knowledge. Additionally, by studying the material and completing the AAP prep questions from the previous three years, you will greatly increase your likelihood of passing the board and will acquire a wealth of knowledge. Click on the link provided below to visit lastminutepediatric.com and subscribe immediately. Be sure to take advantage of our free video samples on our YouTube channel, Pediatric Board Last Minute Review. Good luck with your exams.